Hello, my name is Keith Simpson and today I want to talk to you about the Equivent Large Animal Ventilator. This is a uh, large animal ventilator in intended to be used with horses um, and is a basic flow generator uh, running on a time cycle um, cycling mechanism. Really just want to do some very quick stuff today, won't go into the, the, the full operation of the machine, I just want to go through the leak test, the initial setup and get yourself ventilating. Okay, so the leak test is probably the first thing to do. One thing I want you to be aware of is the leak test. There are two things that you need to do. One is you need to make sure that the bellows is right at the bottom of the machine. If you're trying to do a leak test when the bellows is not at the bottom, what you'll do is you'll try and ex expand the bellows and, and it'll, um, it'll be very difficult to develop the pressure. It's much easier if the, if the bellows is right at the bottom. So to do that, remove one of the hoses and just drop this, this lever down, or this little wheel down so that it goes down to the bottom. Once that's done, fit a stopper to the end of the Y piece and on the back of the machine where the waste gas comes out, fit a stopper on the 30 uh, millimeter uh, male connector. Okay, so now we've got the, the, the system sealed. All we're gonna do is introduce some fresh gas and watch the manometer gauge here as it rises. We'll let that get up to about 20 centimeters of pressure or just over. Turn off the fresh gas flow. We'll see a slight decrease and then the pressure should be held. And if that pressure stays around 20 for a good 10, 20 seconds, then we know we've got a good seal in our system and we're ready to go. If it falls very quickly, then you know you've got a leak somewhere and you need to find that leak before you can continue. So now we've done a leak test, we know our machines are fit to use. How do we use it? Well, first of all, we'll remove the stopper from the back. and remove the stopper from the wipers. There we go. Now, there was some, uh, very briefly, a concept of this machine. This has a little, uh, um, the diaphragm has a little sort of cable in the middle of it that you can raise and lower it, and all you're basically doing is adjusting what we would call the buffer volume of the system. At the moment, we've got nearly the whole 30 litres of buffer volume. If I were to put a fold on here with 30 litres of buffer volume, that means the fold's got a, a circuit volume around it of 30 litres, maybe excessive. So I'd want to, in that instance, just wind up this, these bellows so that my buffer volume is reduced. So in this instance, I'm gonna wind this up. So I've got about, uh, it starts at naught here, go down to about 14, 15 litres. So about 15 litres of buffer volume here. So this would be suitable for a horse with a safe uh, tidal volume of five litres. Expect it to breathe in and out five litres. May want a big breath of up to uh, 15 litres or so. So we're going to set it about 15 litres. So to be aware, be aware, this has nothing to do with tidal volume. That just sets the, the circuit volume, if you like, the volume of those bellows. Right, going to connect this to my patient, which is slightly out of shot, but I've got a patient simulator here. And now we're going to set up for ventilation. Now, as I said at in the intro, this is a flow generator time cycled. So we have a flow control here, just behind the hoses there. And we have a, a little panel here that controls a number of things. So I'm gonna set the, the inspiratory time to two seconds, just by touching that and setting it to two. I'm gonna set my respiratory rate to eight seconds. That automatically sets the expiratory time. Um, uh, sorry, not eight seconds to eight breaths per minute. That automatically sets the expiratory time. I need to set my fresh gas flow now to support the patient. So I'm going to set this at uh, four to five litres to start with, adjust my vaporizer accordingly, and simply start ventilating. Now I'm going to observe the, the <coughs> displacement of the pillows. And now I'm going to observe the peak inspiratory pressure. So I've got a displacement of the bellows from uh, 15 litres up to just under five, so I'm delivering 10 litres, which is probably excessive for my patient. To compensate for that, I must turn down my flow. So I turn down my flow and reduce my uh, effective tidal volume. A little bit more. Okay, that 
that's it. And on the simulator here, I've got a, a pressure coming up to uh, about 15 centimeters of pressure, which is probably a little bit low for a horse. So I would, see if I wanted to increase that, increase my tidal volume, I turn the flow in the other direction to just increase that tidal volume. So in this machine, because it's a very simple time cycle flow generator, you can only control tidal volume by controlling the flow. So you change your flow to change your tidal volume and therefore your peak inspiratory pressure. And once set up, that's it. The machine will continue to, to ventilate at the rate you've set. If you want to change the rate on the fly, simply change it. I've now put it to six breaths per minute. Again, if your volume is excessive and you want to adjust that either by flow rate, you could of course change the inspiratory time, uh, less, lessen the inspiratory time for reduced tidal volume. So a very simple system, I'm going to stop that there. Very simple system, just change the flow rate to control your, your effective tidal volume, change that to monitor and, and affect your end tidal pressure. Turn that. Okay, that's the Equivent Large Animal Ventilator.